We made old school style shrimp scampi and it was tremendous. Today, new school shrimp scampi. Crispy, amazing. Shrimp scampi, super delicious. Crispy shrimp scampi. And wait till you see what we're crisping it with. That will change everything. So here's the plan. You know me, I like to lay it out so you know what to expect. One, we get our shrimp all ready, prepped, and, and breaded for the, the frying process, or the frying process, as we'd say in Canada. We put our pasta in the... What the f is going on over there? Every time I say something, somebody's slamming something. We get our... They gotta be kidding. Are they kidding me? We get our pasta in the water, boiling, and the second... It Stop it. <laughs> We get our pasta in the water boiling. The second it goes in, we start our sauce. The butter, the olive oil, the garlic, the lemon, the blah, 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 blah. And then it goes like this. Whoosh, boom. Whoosh. We're eating and it's fantastic. Shrimp breading process slash process first. Traditional three bowl breading station. First bowl gets flour. Regular, everyday, all purpose flour. And if I was a douche, I would call it AP flour, but I won't. Middle bowl gets two eggs. We'll break these, give them a quick beat. Yeah, have you got any AP flour? Oh yeah, let me look. Hey, Alan, you got some AP flour? Yeah, I got some AP flour. Let me get it for you. Jeez. Poor Alan. Poor Alan. And in the third one, we're gonna put panko, because that's what we're using. But panko breadcrumbs really are my breadcrumbs of choice. I don't keep any other kind in the house. Until now. Because look what I saw and bought. Ready? Not just panko breadcrumbs, but pork panko that are from fried pork rinds. Oh, snap. This is the absolute 100% perfect example of what I say all the time. If you have a choice between two products, you use them the same way, but one has extra flavor, use that one. Pork panko from fried pork rinds? Sheer freaking heaven. Oh my God. I wish I'd invented this. Damn it. Why didn't I? Max, you should have thunk this up for me. All right, these go in. So in we go. You need enough, I'm doing a bunch of shrimp. Look, the last thing you want is to be fighting for a few little bits of breading at the end. So make sure you have enough in your bowl. We're gonna give this a little bit of garlic powder just to continue the garlic theme that will be in the butter part of this sauce for our pasta. And I think a little paprika, smoky, a little smoky note would be good. And this will mix. Oh, I'm so happy with these damn things. So happy. Okay, and our breading work goes like this. So of course we start with shrimp. Uh, these are peeled and de-veined, sometimes referred to as P and D shrimp. De-veined here, peeled, tail left on, I like them like this. These are 1620s, that means there's between 16 and 20 per pound. It's as accurate as they can get. The smaller the number per pound, obviously the bigger the shrimp, right? The 5160s are tiny, these guys are a decent size. I think this is a perfect size for this. So we take the shrimp, we get it in the flour, give it a little dusting, shake off the excess, it goes into the egg wash, knock off the excess, and then into the breadcrumb, and we coat. We want a nice amount. When you've got it, we'll take them, we'll put them on a plate, and we'll continue. We want these to be ready so we're not scrambling at the time we try and throw this together. In, Max will find some interesting music to play so I can just continue my work without having to talk. Last one, ready, down it goes. Let's clean up and uh, move on to part two. Let's clean up and move on to part two. Pasta, pasta, and Use sauce. Words. Pasta and sauce. There you go. I got my words, come on. And with our water boiling and a handful of bucatini, bucatini is this pasta with a hole all the way through. 
it lets the sauce, the butter, the everything get in there. And we drop this into beautifully salted water because that will make it better. We give it a little bit of this. You always want to separate your pasta when you put it into boiling water so it doesn't stick. That'll take about seven minutes altogether. And while the pasta is cooking, we begin our sauce with some olive oil and some butter. I always say it, I'll repeat it in case you don't know. The butter adds the flavor, the oil also adds flavor but keeps the butter from burning. We don't want burned butter. That is not where this recipe is headed. The shrimp are gonna take, oh, about three-ish minutes. So we're gonna put those guys in right as this pasta and everything is starting to finish. And while the butter starts to do its thing and the oil starts to do its thing, we add our next ingredient, which is about four cloves of crushed garlic. And in they go. I don't actually know where this recipe came from or what shrimp scampi means, but as far as I can tell, it means totally freaking delicious pasta and shrimp with a ton of garlic. So you did a ton of research for this episode. I did a lot of research for this episode, right? We let that do its thing beautifully. We're gonna add a little pinch of red pepper flake because it's a beautiful addition. Like that, like that, a little bit more. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The smell, unbelievable. And just as everything starts to foam up a little bit, our next ingredient is white wine, or in this case, I like vermouth. And it goes. I'll put it in about a third of a cup. And we're gonna let this bubble away, do its thing. and start to burn off just a little bit. So nice. Pasta doing beautifully. Obviously not there and that's okay. While our pasta's cooking, our sauce is working. Time to cook some shrimp. Occasionally people will comment, uh, oh, you forgot something on purpose or you're stupid just for the show's benefit. The answer is no. Perfect example, I have a bunch of beautifully cut shallot here that was meant to go into the pan before the garlic and definitely the vermouth. Guess what? We're putting it in now and it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Scatter, scatter, scatter. Let's get it into the sauce. It may be a little firmer than uh, I would like, but it's still going to be good. Like you can fix, you can save almost any recipe, folks. And this is still going to be great. All right, shrimp time. We don't want to crowd it, but our oil's at 350, and in go our shrimp. We'll do them in a couple batches. If you put too many in, you're just gonna bring the temperature way down, and no one wants that. But everything's coming along beautifully. Shrimp cooking, pasta cooking, sauce cooking. Look at them. Look at our little friends. Look at these guys. Gorgeous. And when the shrimp are done, they come out, let them drip a bit, put them on a uh, baking sheet with a rack. Nice. And do another batch. Love this. Love, love this. In love. Perfect. And while those guys finish, we can get our pasta in the sauce and we're almost there. Oh my God. That's really fucking hot. So here's what we do. We take a big handful of the pasta, let most of the pasta water drip off, and in it goes. Oh, yum. Let's get the rest out. Straight in, no draining, not necessary. Just a few quick drips is all it takes. And then it goes. Last little bit comes. And then we mix. And the goal is simple. We want the pasta and this garlic with the onion and the chili flakes and 
and everything that's gorgeous in here. And of course, what would this be without the lemon component? And that takes two forms. One, we zest the outside of a lemon because here's where huge flavor lives. And then we take this same lemon when we're done, we cut it in half and we squeeze the juice in. No seeds, please. No seeds, please. We're doing fine. We're doing fine. A little hit of parsley. Little salt and pepper. We mix, we mix. Shrimp are almost ready and we're there to finish everything off. And here's our pasta smelling and I mean, I'd say looking amazing. It's very simple. So it's not going to look like a, uh, a painting, but now our shrimp, our gorgeous, beautiful pork panko, pork rind fried shrimp. And how is that? So look, clearly different than the regular old school shrimp scampi that we've made before, but certainly no less delicious. You smell the garlic and the lemon wafting through the air up to greet your nose. You twirl a few strands around, mother You twirl a few strands around a fork Cultivate yourself a beautiful little bite and have it. Oh, your stomach again. Everybody heard that one. They did? Yeah. Mm. The lemon, the garlic, that little bit of chili flake. But I'm here for these. These. Gorgeous. Crispy. Oh, it's hot. Oh my God. Let me tell you this, that pork panko is a game fricking changer. What? They're insanely delicious. Mm. Here's what you do. You have somebody over, you go, I'm just gonna whip up a little something get this whole thing going. Look, have the butter, the garlic, the oil, and the onion already done in the pan, melted, cooked, just on, 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 off. Now all you have to do is cook some pasta. Yes, the shrimp, but you can have the shrimp all prepped, ready to go. Looking just like this, except not cooked. Then you cook them and you throw them together and you bring this out. If this doesn't get you laid, well, Chance, nothing will, am I right? I guess so. He guesses so. You gotta do this. The whole thing's a game changer. Shrimp scampi, delicious. Crispy shrimp scampi with, with pork panko. All right, thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging, watching, subscribing, liking, notification bell hitting, all that smashing, all that stuff. Anything anybody uh, wants to end with? Nope. Take us out on a strong note. <laughs> I don't got a strong well, note today. You always peter us out. Like. I can't. I don't. I don't mean to All peter right, us everybody out. Everybody good? Should we just? Hey, you know what this silently makes silently me want to do? Minutes? This makes me want to go punch. There you go. There you go. Better? If you look like a. Dork. I look like a torch. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you.